Hey, howdy, folks. Welcome back to the Taylor Brooks Road of the Show Series here on MLB 23 PS5, episode 257, maybe? I don't know. It's our second start of the month of May, uh, and Taylor threw a really good one in his last one. Eight and two-thirds, and then gave up two earned just because. Why not? Um, our next start's going to be against a divisional opponent, again, in the Texas Rangers. Um... Ross Mata is their ace, and this dude has a lot of potential to be good and stay good for a while. Brock Porter, more potential. Owen White, boo. Everybody boo this man. Jack Leiter is apparently gross now. Three straight years at a three point, from a 3.22 to a 3.53 ERA, and he's off to a phenomenal start this year, up to an 84 overall, and he is becoming what the Rangers needed him to be. Spencer Howard sucks. Um, <laughs> oh, wait, Randy Rodriguez. Okay, this dude is not glitched in this series. <laughs> I didn't realize he was a real dude. He has only fastballs in the Alex series. I don't know why. Anyways, that's their rotation. Lineup-wise, Nick Gordon, Evan Carter is not quite what he is in real life. Uh, Corey Seager is now 35 in this. An insanely good career for him. I don't know if it's going to be enough for the Hall of Fame. Um, but Kerry Carpenter hits. Ryan Mountcastle hits. Duran's okay. Josh Young. And Tyler Malone and Benny Montgomery is roaming out in center field. Not quite the fielder he is in the Alex series. Mountcastle's been in the league for a while. Former teammate of Taylor's. Let's go ahead and get into this. This could be uploaded a little later. We lose two more. Golly, man. This team is struggling. We got to figure some stuff out. Let's just go with cutter break. There's two wins in a row. All right, we have a chance to go three and two on the episode again, this time getting to a winning record. Um, and we're facing Owen White. Let's go destroy this team. Okay. Looks like most people are playing no Bobby Turner. Let's do it. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Seattle Mariners and the Texas Rangers. Joined by my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Shop. So the Seattle Mariners have a chance to get out of town for the series sweep, and that's big against the division rival. Yeah, they want to walk out of here feeling. Sounds really like good chance dice done. these dudes up if we've only given up two earned runs. So two of them are unearned. Offense has looked good this series. Not here in the first. How did Chance do? I'm always interested in seeing what he did um, yesterday. He's he's down to 237. Yeah, he's gross, dude. He's so good. <laughs> Glad to be pitching alongside him. Harry Ford catching us. Has laid down. Let it go! Never mind! What a play! He was out early Irving today. Lopez with a crazy play. Bear handing that one. That was going to roll foul. But instead, we've got one down. Irving Lopez. Here's how the defense lines up today. What a play. That one's in there. That's strike one. Brooks, a former MVP. He features a two seam. I need to check in on a, change up, a slider, a okay. curve, a couple people. Uses a cutter. I wanted to check Only in on Drew Jones, down. how he started the season, and see if Jackson Holiday's Spain gotten any better. We strike out Duran. Gordon hitting in the, in the three hole means they're sitting some Obviously, starters. Right there, he used it to put his opponent away without needing to waste any pitches. All in one now. If I was a manager and I had to choose the day to sit some guys, I would definitely pick the day Taylor's on the mound because you're probably not going to win that game anyway. <laughs> Swing and a miss. End Up of the out. first. Taylor strikes out to a great play from Irving Rangers Lopez. It's 0 0. They're 1 2 3. The Here's the veteran outfielder, Kerry Carpenter. Hey. See the velocity. 97 with that fastball. All right, 
carry. Next pitch is outside. Eric Summersgill, our plate umpire. One thing to watch out for, Boog, is what side of the plate Summersgill might be. Get another call. All right. Sets up at an angle. Pitchers sometimes will try to figure that out early so they can attack that spot and get as many strike calls as possible. The 2-2 now. The slider is swung through, one down. Well, kind of a weird pitch and a weird swing on that strike down. It's just a slider that caught a lot of the play. Mount Castle hitting 267. I think he just gave up on it way too early, and by the time he realized it was dropping into the zone, he just fires off a really poor swing. Go, Come back right back down. at Taylor. He plays and Thoughts fires over to Evan White. Two down. Quickly, two away. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is oh, just awesome. mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Today, as I'm uploading this, there is College Football Championship Saturday going on. Here in the second which is uh, all the conference championships. I'm a Georgia Bulldogs fan. I go to UGA, so obviously you know who I'm rooting for. It's nice being a Georgia fan. Um, anyways, hopefully it's nice today. That brings up my next topic of the future of the channel and the, e the new college football game is set to release this coming summer. Also set to finish in this coming summer is the Alex Parker series. We could start up a college football series. It wouldn't be as long as either of these careers, obviously. You can only go through college, and it's football. So it'd be less than 100 episodes. Would that be something y'all are interested in? Maybe a running back, you know? A daily upload on a... College football running back. And then maybe we could carry him into Madden and finish his career there. You know, like play a whole career there. Just a, just some food for thought if that's something that would interest everybody. I think it'd be fun. And it can't be more than 100 episodes because, well, you're only going to have 12 games in a regular season, a conference championship, maybe. The college football playoff will be in it. So at max, a 16-game season. And I'm not saying we're winning any more than two. So let's just say 60 games in our career. And then maybe there's high school. So 70 so a little more than two months of the series I think that'd be fun be a nice switch up from baseball and I, I've tried other sports and it's not that I haven't enjoyed them there's a small 2k series there's a smaller or there's a small Stetson Bennett series on Madden but these take up Oh, the majority of my video game time, you know, and when you're already rocking with two big series uh, that are daily uploads, obviously, obviously, you're not, uh, not uploading whatever, sorry, not uploading any other sports that consistently. So, as of right now, I upload this. That's not gone, is it? Holy What in the world? Gabriel Gonzalez! That's the greatest catch I've ever seen in this game. Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's why you have guys that can make plays out there. What in the world? That's the greatest play you will ever see. And it keeps any runner off base. We turn the order back over one down. 
So digging in, Ezekiel Duran. What in the world, man? Swing and a miss. But yeah, so by that time, we're in year 15 with uh, Alex, and he'll probably be five years out um, come New Year from finishing his career. 20 years is the, is the target goal. So, we'll see. Hacks and misses, it's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Guys become defensive. But that, if, if that puts Alex Dunn around the end of probably July, if I had to guess, then uh, that college football game is probably coming out in August. So it's pretty well lined up. If there's a little bit of overlap or a little bit of time where it's just Taylor, yeah, that's fine too. There's gonna be. Can't expect a perfect. A Up perfect whatever. Nope. That's inside. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch. Up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there got? because of how hitters have changed their swings. Started to go to one two. A check on it to third. Nope, he held hey, back. Check this guy out. Let's go. Back door, not a great spot, but Evan White plays it, and that will end the fourth. Still zeros. It's about time for our offense to start getting on the board here. Nope. Three fielder's choices in a row. Bad pitch, and carry. Golly, I love this guy out and left. Gabriel Gonzalez is my boy. <laughs> So here's Ryan Mountcastle, ball one. Has he hit well? Nah, not really. Not terrible. 693. He's made three airs too. Mm. Not with me. There's the strike. Singing Ryan Mountcastle, a former first round pick by the Orioles in 2015. Here's the thing that gets me though. Mountcastle <laughs> breaks up the no hitter. And can I tell you? I Julio tracks it down, keeps him at one. You gotta try it sometime. Singy, what's your go to karaoke song? Yeah, probably some song that'll cost us too much to mention in this broadcast. <laughs> now it's gonna be Josh Young. Popped air, out right to feet. right. It's playable Thomas. for Makes Lane Thomas. Two down. Two down. Here's the catcher, Tyler Malone. Two down. That pitch is the going to the ground. All right. Well, first hit of the day for the Rangers. Well, nothing's going on offensively for either side. A double, and J-Rod knocks him in. There's that one-two punch coming through. It's only one, but one is enough for the lead. That's in there. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on... Especially when Taylor's diamond like this. Next offering is in for a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider. Fouled off. They've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Good pitch. Benny making us work for what we want. Here comes a pitch. That one out to Popped right. up. Top. Lane's Nobody on it. it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Without allowing a walk. We haven't allowed a walk all year. That's in for a strike. I always remember watching Johan Santana. Taylor is actually nuts. You would see... A lot of guys out in front, right-handers pulling that change up in the stands and then fouling the fastball, the opposite field, up into the stands. Swings mm. through that one for strike two. Not exactly where we wanted that, but finds the zone, so one, two. Trying the backdoor slider. No. But Gunner's going to have a chance. 
Got him, but I don't. Ooh, ooh, I don't know about that. Gunner's strong throw gets him, but uh, let's check this one. Ooh, he did get him. There's the sound. That means the ball's officially in the glove, and yeah. Kept the ball from a good the play outfield, from Gunnar Henderson. He's got strong throw and he still got the out. Two down here in the sixth. Try it again. I want a K on this pitch, can you tell? It's not a K. Good play by Aaron Hefo. A little toss. The sixth is over. Into the bottom of the seventh. Still one nothing. On the ground. Play by Irving Lopez. Firing. Got him one down. Nick Gordon right. shoots one into right, but it's played by Lane Thomas. Quick two outs. Taylor is throwing absurdly well this year. <laughs> We're to go for it again. The backdoor slider will it work this time? No. Might just not be the pitch, man. The slider there is though. End of the seventh. Only two innings left. We still lead at one nothing. Top of the lineup coming up for the Mariners. One two three again. Back here at the ballpark, and now the first baseman, Ryan Mountcastle. It's been a pitching duel. That misses the zone, and, that and Taylor Brooks is usually the better pitcher. He's been good. Yeah, he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game. If you're going to get to him, you get to him early. They didn't do that today. We'll see what happens as this finishes. Next pitch misses, and that's ball two. Pitch count in great shape. It seems you might have a chance to finish it. Good cutter, 92 or 94, and it's a 2 2 count. Slider is fouled off. Not our best spot there. Let's try it again. See if we can get the change up to drop right in. Nope. Good pitch, but it's hit up the middle, and Mountcastle has a leadoff single. I'm cool with our closer, Marnaccio, although I'd rather throw it. Josh Young. Strike one. That's fouled off as well. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. Oh. Next offering Oof. is downstairs. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. 97 and Young couldn't catch up to it. One down. That is off the plate, and they're starting to work, Taylor. That's typically a spot that hitters can handle. Taking so pitches, exhibiting patience. Mountcastle, the runner He's trying to work the best pitcher in baseball out of the game. One, two, the slider is shot down the line, but foul. Fastball got him upstairs, and there's two down.
Montgomery far better against lefties. The 0-2 is smoked deep left, but well foul. Let's see if we can get him to chase. Not there. One ball, two strikes. That misses the zone. Two balls, two strikes. Two balls, Typically, the two outfield strikes. defense walk will play him. a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around to score and tie this ball game up. Two, it's a 2-2 two, two, two slider. He fouled it off away. barely. It again. The 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. Two, two. He is fouling That's another one off. Benny Montgomery, eight pitches in the A-B. Only a couple of them have even been in the strike zone. The curveball is taken. Mountcastle goes down the line. Foul. Just tunnel that pitch with the changeup. Ball four. Taylor's walked his first batter with you. Jose Salas steps up. Stepping in for the Rangers. That's a strike, Blue. Now's not the time. Salas has given the Mariners or the Rangers a two to one lead. And that'll do it for Taylor. He's in line for the loss. Travis Gilmore makes it 4-1. We weren't going to score anyway. It's a 4-1 loss, and I'm getting really tired of this no-run support gig. Come on, man. It's why, I left, it's why I left the Orioles, because they weren't surrounding us with help. And we've got the help, and it's not, it's not contributing in Taylor's favor. So Taylor gives up three there. Let's check in on the guys I want to check in on, then we'll call it. Drew Jones is not playing every day. When he sucks, when he does, so. And then over with the D-backs, Jackson Holiday is playing every day, and he's hitting really well. Good for him. But his attributes still aren't there yet. Like, they're not that good. Acuna is down to an 87. They hit this dude too hard with regression. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for me. That's Taylor Brooks, episode 250, 258 in the books.